Hi, it's Daniel, and today I'm going to show you how to make this really cool peacock. My favorite part about it is it goes from white on the head, the body, and the legs to a different color on the top and the feathers, so the feathers really stand out. Let's get to folding, shall we? So for this peacock, I'm using Kami paper, which is a color on one side and white on one side. So if you're using my paper, start color side up. Fold over like that. So this edge aligns with that edge. Make sure to make really precise folds and crease sharply. Unfold, rotate, fold this edge to the crease you just made, like so. Unfold, rotate, and repeat. So this edge to the center crease. unfold so I'm gonna say you fold this point to that point and that edge to that edge but don't go ahead and just do it you have to do something special so you do that and then you have the point don't crease it all the way so you have the point put your finger at the point and bring your finger down like that and then crease to the right. So then you have this partial crease that goes from that edge of the paper to the center crease and then terminates. So repeat on this side. So that point to that point. Hold up there. Bring your finger down. Now you want to fold it to the left. Unfold. So now you have that. So fold this edge to the center. Yet again, don't crease right away. So you wanna crease right there and then crease to the right. Fold this point to the center. Bring your finger down, fold to the left. So then you have this zigzag pattern. So now this is a little bit of a tricky step. What I like to do is first turn this over and make these creases mountains. So it appears as a mountain on this side and a, I mean a mountain on this side and a valley on this side. So you're going to want to fold along the existing crease just so you can reverse the crease. So fold this edge to there along the existing crease. And fold, turn over. So now these are now mountains. So this is a little bit of a tricky step. Now we want to reverse fold along this zigzag pattern. What I find easiest is to do the center one first. So put a finger under, fold over, along that existing crease. So it was like this, fold over. And this will help it collapse easily. So now, you want to fold this up so that you're only folding along that. You don't, just imagine that these creases aren't even there. So, collapse it up. Make sure that they're right along those creases. So it kind of looks like an L. That was probably the hardest step in the model. So if you did that, then you're good. So now you want to reverse fold along that crease. So push this point in along that crease. Let's push it in. 
make that crease nice and sharp and then push that point over turn over repeat so push this point in along that crease and you want to insert a finger in to make sure that the crease goes all the way to the bottom so push it in like so so now it's like this so now you want to unfold this partially so it was like this fold along that crease so we're not making any new creases fold this edge to the center crease so it's like that and then refold what you just unfolded so now it looks like that turn over unfold along that existing crease Fold this edge to the center crease, like that, and then refold that part. So now you have this. Now turn over so that this point is going to the left. So now fold all three layers so that all the points hit that bottom point unfold now you want to refold only one of the layers turn over and refold that layer so it looks something like that now you're going to want to fold so that the crease goes from that point to that point So it's like that, and try to avoid the tear up there and a tear down there. That's one thing that happens quite frequently if you're just trying to do it fast. And repeat. So it looks like this. Unfold those. Now you want to reverse fold along that crease. So open that up, fold along that valley, and then you want to fold so that that's a valley. Like that, and fold that over along that existing mountain. So then you have something that looks like this. So now, repeat. So, Fold along that existing valley. Fold along that existing valley. And then again along that existing valley. So believe it or not, you're actually making no new creases on that. Now we're gonna work on the bottom a little. Cause as you see, the top is finished. Now we gotta work on the bottom. So you want to unfold that so it's a square. Now fold that edge so it hits that edge. And then push this little point over so that the leg sticks out. And repeat, so fold this edge so it hits that edge. Then you have this point, push it over so that it hits that like right about there. Perfect. Now fold along that existing crease. Now you want to reverse fold this point so it goes up. So something that you could do is pre-crease it. So that it goes along that so just make sure it goes right along there so that it looks like that then fold it in half so it's like that and then reach and pull that and push it upward and now you want to fold that again 
down. So pre-crease, hold that at that point to that point. Hold it all in half. Take that point, push it outward. And now, this is an optional step. I just like to do it. Makes the peacock more nice. It's called a crimp. So, you're basically going to want to fold so that there's a fold that goes from that point to that point. So it's like that, then swivel it downward. So it currently was like this. So you have it like this and swivel it over so that this is now flat and repeat. This is optional. It's a little bit harder step, but it does look better in my opinion. Sometimes it does fake take a few tries though. So I'm gonna show you it. So this is the side that I did do the crimp. This is the side that I didn't. So now, whichever looks best to you, so just so now you want to reverse fold that little part out I'll let you be the judge on the little feathers and reverse fold that part too you are now completed just another thing you want to do the same thing so if you did a crimp on one side then you want to do a crimp on the other side. So I'm just going to do the crimp on that side because I think it looks more clean. You are now completed with the peacock. Hope you like the peacock design. I just wanted to show you, you can also make it from really fancy paper so that the wings stand out way more. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment down below if you have any questions about the folding, questions about what paper I'm using, or what project you want to see next. Bye. I'll have to Google that. I should have seen that coming. Uh. <laughs> my social life is out the window. <laughs> you know what? I give up. I give up. I 100% I give up. Like, that's gold. Dun 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 dun! <laughs> dun 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 I gotta so go to the gala, cause I'm so fancy. That's gold.